Okay guys, so in this video, let's see that how do we display this manage users table inside our application so that the admin can look at each of the profiles. So right now we are logged in as an admin inside the completed application. And if we click any of the user here, we are taken to the user's profile of that user. And here we can also update the roles. That is truly has a role of moderator currently. And if we want to update his role to admin, we can do so by updating the role here inside this form here. So let's see in this video that how do we display this table and how do we display the profile page for each of the users. So let's go back to our application here and inside the views what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new file that is called manage users, manage hyphen users dot EJS like this. And firstly, what we need to do, we need to include the header and the footer from our layouts here. So let me paste in those things here. That is firstly, we are including the header from the layouts folder. And then lastly, we are including the footer. And then we have an H1 here, which says manage users. And just ignore the class name here because it is only for styling here. And now let's create a table here. And this template, we won't be copying and pasting. So firstly, we have a table with a class of table. So table dot table. And now inside this table, we have a T head like this and here we would have three fields that is the id the email and the role so th id th role and th email like this and this should be in the middle that the email should be in the middle and now we have the body for the this table here so let's write write it there so t body like this and inside this T body, what we want to do, we want to render this template that is manage users template from the admin route.js file where the admin is trying to get all the users. So here, instead of sending all the users, what I want or what the admin would want is that that this template should be rendered that is manage users.ejs. So let's render it here. So res.render and here we want to render the manage hyphen users template. So users like this and here we want to pass in an object that contains all the users like this so now let's save this so now the application restarted and let's save this file for now and here inside the pre tag let me simply display the json body here so let me write a pre here and here we can simply say ejs out json dot stringify and it should be removed in a moment but in, it is only for demonstration so user comma null comma two like this and now let's go back to our application and now if we refresh this page we need to log in again so let's log in with admin at gmail.com password one two so we see that we are getting only one user and that is the user itself and i have a typo here it should be users not user only and now let's save this manage users and let's go back and let's refresh this page. And now we see an array of users here and that's what we want to display inside this table here. So let's go back here and here. Now let me remove this thing from here and here inside this uh, body. What we need to do, we just need to display the rows for each of the users. So let's use EJS for so EJS for each EJS each like this. And here the array would be users like this. The element would be user like this and here we would display our row so let's display our first row so this should be tr like this and this should be a row containing an individual user so firstly what we need to display we need to display the id so let's display the id so it should be td and here we can say ejs out user dot id like this and then we have another element or another column would, which should display the email. So here we can again have a TD, not THD, but TD. And here we can say EJS out user dot email like this because the second column contains the email. And similarly, let's copy this thing for the third column. So let me copy it and let me paste it. And this should be role like this. So let's save this manage users file and let's go back to our application and let's see that if we are able to display the table. So let's refresh this page and now we see that we are able to display the table here with this emails for each of the users that are registered and we have the role displayed here. And now what I want to do, I want to convert this uh, thing here. That is if someone clicks on this email here, then he should be taken to the profile of this user. 
and if someone clicks here he should be taken to the profile of this user and similarly for this user and for the form we'll be doing that in the next video so let's see that how do we display those things here so let's go back to our application and here inside this uh, element here that is inside the row of for each of the users where we are dis simply displaying the email what we want to have we want to have an anchor tag so let's write the anchor tag first and here where should he be taken to he should be taken to forward slash admin forward slash users forward slash or it should be user only and then forward slash id and the id of the user we can get it from this thing here so let me simply copy this thing from here and let me paste it here and now here we can simply display the email and one thing more that this email should be inside this anchor tag so let me cut it and let me paste it here so now let me save this and if we go back to our application and if we re reload it here we see that now these uh, emails are clickable and if we click on any of the email we see that the route is not found and that is because we haven't created that route inside our admin route so let's go back to our admin route and here let's create that route that is router dot get like this and here it should be user forward slash colon id like this and we can extract this route parameter so async request comma response comma next like this and here what we can do we can get this id from the request dot params and everything we are doing we should do it inside the try catch block so let's write the try catch block and if there is an error we can simply call next with the error parameter like this and inside the try block what we can do we can extract the id from the request.params so const id equal to request.params like this and now firstly what we need to do we need to validate that whether this id that is coming as a request parameter is a valid object id that is this type of id that we have here inside each of the documents that is underscore id so if it is a valid this type of id so let's validate it first and for that we need the mongoose package inside this file here that is admin route.js so const mongoose equal to require mongoose like this and here we can make an if check that is if mongoose dot types dot object id is valid and here we can pass in the id itself and now this should be true if it is a valid object id but here what we need to check with that it is not a valid object id so let's put a not here that if the object id is not valid or if the id coming inside the request params is not valid so what we want to do we can simply make a flash message that is request dot flash and here we can say error and the message would be invalid id simply like this and here we can simply redirect him back so rest dot redirect and here we can taping him back to the page where he was coming from and then we simply need to return from this try block like this otherwise we know that this is a valid object id so what we need to do we need to get the user from this id so we can say const person equal to await user dot find by id and here we can simply provide in the id here and then we can simply render the profile so rest dot render and here we can render the profile like this so profile because the profile page has already been created for each of the users and this expects a person object here to display the details about the person so therefore we are using this person here and here we can simply pass in the person here like this so now let's save this and now if everything works we should be seeing the profiles of each of the users so now let's uh, go to manage users so now if we click on john doe we are to the profile of john doe as we can see here and we can go back if we go to yours truly we can so see that his role is client and if we go to admin at gmail.com we can see that we are at this profile so now let's try to put another object id which is not a valid object id so let me write something here that is not a valid object id something like this and if we press enter so we see that we are taken back and we see that the id is an invalid id and we are not taken back to the manage users page but we should be taken back but for now instead of redirecting him back what we can do we can simply redirect him back to the admin 
forward slash admin forward slash users page. So let me save this and now if we go to any user here. So now if we try to change the ID here that is not a valid object ID and if we go to this route here we say that this is an invalid ID and now we are on the manage users page and we need to fix this thing here that is rest dot redirect back because it seems to work but now it is not working. So we'll check that in the next video or in the video where we'll be cleaning up things. So this is how we display pages or the profiles according to the user. And now in the next video, let's see that how do we handle this thing here? That is the role form here. So that's a part of the next video.